At home with a lifetime of stories and songs People we've met and the places we've gone Along the way found where and how we belong At home with a lifetime of stories and songs Welcome to more songs and stories from home Podcasts that give voice to songs with stories and stories with songs written and being written over the course of a lifetime, often illuminating the journey we all make, together and alone, finding our way home. Concert for the Class of 65, Part 5. Some years ago, Robert Fulgham told us that all he really needed to know, he learned in kindergarten, In writing songs and choosing stories to share in the concert for the class of 65, I realized things that mattered most to me in high school have continued to be things that matter today. As I explained to my classmates, in high school I knew those things as God, music, girls, and football. And over time, I came to know them as faith, hope, love, and family, however we choose to define those words. They inspire and guide me when lost, they find me and lead me home. And then I sang songs that talk about what those words continue to mean to me. The first verse of the song that talks about God and faith says that when I was 21, I had faith in God. I had faith in my country and all she was. I had faith in my family and faith in myself. And when you've got all that, you don't need much else. When faith is strong, hope is high, joy abounds and love abides The song goes on to describe the loss of that faith, then renewed and discovered in new forms. To illustrate music or hope, the classmates that I first sang with in high school, we called ourselves the Castaways, we sang one more time on that stage where we'd sung for the first time 60 years earlier. Talk about a special treat. And then when it came to girls or love, I explained that serious relationships that I'd had into my 30s, all of them happened to be with girls or women from our high school. The last part of the song saying that I surely have regrets, things that I would change and yet somehow feels that it all has led me to this cherished place. On the road to finding out, could not see then what I see now. All I needed to be found back in my hometown. And then finally, talking about football or family, I sang a song for my high school football teammates who were at the reunion, dedicating it to those no longer with us a song called Band of Brothers, running out on that field as kids. A band of brothers come together, become this. Band of Brothers. So we're not done yet, but we're closing in. So, So then I was thinking of my story in high school. And uh, and so, besides having this family secret, uh, I had undiagnosed dyslexia. So, I think I think you know, like Provodsky, he was the student athlete. Some, he had some award at the end. I didn't have a chance for the student part. And but I got the I had the athlete thing. But but I realized that what I'd done is I had spent my whole high school career, I could, be, I could be wrapped up in four words, God, music, girls, and football. 
So, and then I thought, that's not bad. <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad. In fact, it's damn good. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I realized, huh, I spent my whole I spent my whole life doing that. <laughs> But instead, it's become faith, hope, love, and family. So, so here's that song that introduces it. Faith is for my wife, Pat, who, uh, well, she's back home loving up the grandkids. Faith, hope, love, and family, these inspire and guide me when lost. They find me and lead me home. Faith, what we believe in, hope, what link leads us strong. Love, what we hold most dearly, family, what keeps us strong. Faith, hope, love, family, these in inspire and guide me when lost they find me and lead me home and you are where, where are we from who I come back to you are what I lean on you who makes each day brand new faith been quite a journey for me over the last 60 years. Uh, in 1969, so I found out in June from my dad that he'd been in a mental institution when I was born and everything was kind of thrown into a top hat and kind of that digging out from that. And then I was singing at an All City Young Life meeting in Seattle. And a guy came up to me and he said, he said, don't sing when Johnny comes marching home. And I got so pissed off that I sang the Impossible Dream, dedicated it to everybody that went to Canada, and stomped out of there and never went to church for 40 years. Still there, and <laughs> at least to worship. I went, but I, I, uh, I, uh, I would go. I go with my with my with family or friends. So Pat Sands and I. When Pat, when Sands was anyway, a lot of long story. I love. Uh, it's been my really good fortune. To, uh, to have been able to travel the world, to have visited, I, I was drawn, I've been drawn to Shinto shrines and to Buddhist temples and to, and to uh, Hindu shrines and temples and, and mo mosques and, and, to, and then and to churches. Uh, and and I, I just love spending time there. And I realized, I told my stepkids, I, you know, I said that, those are all places where I feel I feel at home, but the church is where I'm really at home. And then 11 years ago, I uh, um, a friend of, I was at a brother's full rehearsal, and my, one of my singing partners said, "Well, yeah, one some guy from some woman from my church is just taking a church in Port Lello. And uh, I said, "Very well, great." And it was around Easter, and I said, well, "Fine, that sounds good." I thought nothing of it. Then I came home, and my neighbor had had. Uh, Give, put down this beautiful flower and said, you're invited to come to church for Easter. Went, oh man, robo tub, I gotta, I gotta go. And I did, and I did. It was the first time in 40 years that I'd been there to worship and just myself. And uh, so, you know, and I'm asking the person next to me, I said, well, 
what are you, what are you doing here? And she said, well, I'm driving all the way from Port Townsend. And uh, hmm, that's interesting. That's a long way to come. And she said, yeah, we had a little kerfuffle at our other church, and they're kind of talking about not welcoming everybody. Oh, really? Well, this, you know, politics of religion. And, uh, and so I said, well, is this a God doesn't make junk church? She said, yeah, this is, that's the one. I said, oh, I'm good. That's good. And so, but then I took communion, and, and all of a sudden that door I'd slammed shut it opened up a little bit. And I thought, I'm well, oh, this is great. I love this. And it wasn't, it didn't come back in the same way, or it felt the same way, but to have access to all those wonderful feelings about what we do about faith, about what we learn about faith, and, uh, mm-hmm. and, what, and, and the importance of faith. Because of faith, love, hope, and love, I think love, yes, it's the greatest, but faith may be the most important. When I was 21, I had faith in God. I had faith in my country and all she was. And I had faith in my family. I had faith in myself. And when you got all that, you don't need much else. Faith is strong. Hope is high. Just a year later, and the country's still at war. Leaders are lying or they're dying. I can't find God anymore. And I learn a family secret. I am feeling deceived. I, I lose faith in myself. I could not believe. Faith is strong. Hope is high. And the world is still ablaze. But I, le- I look deep inside. I can feel the faith. I got faith in you. I got faith in me. And I think we're going to make it. But we got to believe. Faith is strong. Hope is high. stage for the first time in 59 years, the original Castaways, Joe Allison, Joyce Palmer, Dan Eaton, and myself. Thank you. 
Dickinson says, uh, tell the truth, tell all the truth, but tell it slant. So, um, so that was, that was hope, faith, hope, there we go, music, and uh, love. Uh, so, what I realized, all these things that we, that, that when you look back at life, over the last few months, I realized that the only, uh, the only uh, s serious relationships I had uh, until I was in my 30s were with uh, women from LC. <laughs> <laughs> so... Looking back at what I've learned, all those things twist and turns, bridges built and bridges burned, brought me to this place, back to where I started from, no kidding, battles lost and battles won. I think about what I've become here at the end of the day. On the road to find it out, I could not see then what I see now. All I needed to be found was back here in my hometown. Things I came to know of love Didn't learn them soon enough And there are some I've hurt so much Hurts to this day So yes, I surely have regrets There's things that I would change And yet Somehow it feels that it all has led me to this cherished place on the road to find it out could not see then what I see now all I needed to be found 
was back here in my hometown. Home, home, the road to find enough. Could not see then what I see now. All I needed to be found back in my hometown. So, you know, my mom lived to be 98, and uh, she, uh, and she, her, her email, her, her email address was, well, when she had an email address, was in love with Spokane. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, after my, uh, anyway, my, they, so this was it, and so I would uh, visit, and, uh, and then, and then uh, about, I guess it was just not, not long, she died in 1990, in 2020, 2020, it closed. And, uh, and so, um, and, and the, uh, um, the, one of the things I did, she was in bed a lot, and so one of the things I did is I went to Hart Field, because she was, wasn't that far, and, uh, which I've done before, this wasn't, wasn't the only time. But, and so everything, everything in, in this next song is true, except uh, for the uh, uh, last verse. I, it, 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 it didn't happen, but it, 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 it. <laughs> I was in town to see my mother when I stopped by at Hartfield. Once a field of dreams, now memories. And it was out there on that grass Thought of all those things long past. Close my eyes and God, that was a lot to see. I saw all those things we did for sure. But most important, what I see, what I saw is who we were. We were a band of brothers. Running on that field as kids, a band of brothers. Come together, become this band of brothers. And on the field high, the end zone by the goalposts. Wondered where the time had gone. I think of those of us no longer here and I lean down I pick up some turf and I think for what it's worth our memories are gonna keep them now forever near cause there are moments in our lives when things change and nothing's ever nothing's ever
so I was telling, I wrote in a letter to the guys, I <laughs> said, you know, it wouldn't be, just when Lonnie, uh, we, Lonnie knew she, he was dying at Sue Ellen, they came to a concert, and, and it's, uh, I, I see them during, the, at, at that event, and know that it's kind of, it, well, Lonnie's dying, and, and Lonnie gets really, he gets close to me, and he says, Spears said, do you remember? No, he said, he said, oh, I'll never forget when Coach Bartlett, that last game in that field, I was at Hartfield, and he said, you guys are going to remember this your whole life. And he said, you, you, you remember that? I didn't have the heart to tell him. I, <laughs> you know, I, I did, I, not, I, not a clue, but, what I, but and that, this is the important part, what I will never forget is that meeting with Lonnie. And that, and that I had, um, and that, um, I wrote a letter to his son, Eric, who I still believe that Lonnie and Sue Ellen named after Eric Olson. <laughs> and, and Jack Graves named his son, Eric, after Eric. Uh, well. and, and, and another coincidence, about a, six weeks ago, a friend of, a guy from rival high school, Rich Mesmer, lost, his daughter died, and so I called Rich and I gave him my condolences and we talked and, and, he, and he said that, well, <clears throat> He said, well, I, I, Jack Graves' son uh, is hurt a little bit and needs your help. Or need, I mean, so I got his contact, and so I wrote, so I included uh, Eric Graves on this, this, thing, this Band of Brothers song. So. Thank you for listening to or watching more songs and stories from home. Come back next time for part six of the Class of 65, knowing you're always welcome here at home with a lifetime of stories and songs.